This is the Grain and Sense Eco Community. We're a collective of 11 adults and four kids that came together with a common goal. We bought a property together, uh, Lavenon. It's 20 hectares, 15 of forest and five of prairie. What we're trying to do here is to live more connected with ourselves, with others and with the environment and doing all of that with big open doors for whoever wants to come in and share that experience with us. In the shared house, a community kitchen where we have all of the food that we buy together. There's the dining room and the living room. And then the other shared spaces include a library where we've put all of our books together, a wood workshop where we've put all of our tools together, and an office where we've put all of our office junk together. Here in our community, um, each family has a small private space. So Roma, Seva, and I, we live in a yurt. Raf, Kim, and Jonah, they live in a roulotte, which is like a tiny house on wheels. Astrid, Ed, Will, and Elio are living in a small house that was on the property. Because we have so many shared spaces, we're very comfortable living in our small spaces and they actually become like small cocoons and family units. So already we're able to put you know, four families onto a property where there was just one family living. So instead of two people, now you have 14 people living on the same land. When there's something to get done, and you, you can call the community to come and help you and you're gonna, you know, make a garden bed in an hour with something that would have taken you three or four hours uh, just because you have many hands and people can come and help. The shared responsibility, I think, is really liberating. We work so well together and it's so complimentary that somebody is going to do the thing that you don't really want to do because chances are like they do want to do it. So each person is doing their part, which makes it work. Each role is really, really important. I think we have a lot of trust that, you know, when it's somebody's turn to do the, the finances part, that they're going to stay on it and then they're going to keep us informed and we're going to have meetings to know like where we're at to try and make everybody feel at peace. Living in community is having a huge support network. I know that I have people around me that I can go to and ask for help. A lot of support for the kids here because there's so many adults and luckily also adults that don't have kids yet. So they also take the pleasure to spend time with the kids that live in the community. And as a parent, it's really appreciated. And it's really a rich experience, I think, for the kids. They have so many adults around them to learn all the time. My daughter, she appreciates that and she'll come back and tell me about what she's done or what she's learned with somebody else. It feels nice. There's a lot of things that we see ourselves learning now, living in community, that our kids are learning um, at the same time. So it's reassuring to think that they might grow up uh, with a better concept of how to communicate than we started off with. Big advantage in our community uh, is the way that we organize cooking. Pretty much you sign up to cook once a week. You have to cook for anywhere between 15 and 20 people because we have a lot of visitors here also. But then that's it for the week. And what's really good about that is everybody gives it their all when they cook once a week. So we eat really good all the time. When we created this project, we defined in the beginning that it wasn't just going to be a place for us to live. It was really important for us to be able to host people and to share this experience with other people, which is why our reason of being is un lieu de vie et de partage. That means um, a place of living and sharing. The reason that it's important to us to share the project is just to give the, the idea to say like, Oh, it is possible. That's another way of living. And if people can come here and see that we can do it, then maybe they can heal themselves too. When we started the project, we started with visiting other communities. We needed to see what they were doing, how did they get there. We realized there's actually quite a lot and no two communities are the same. And that's what's really beautiful about it. I think there's a lot of beautiful projects based on sharing uh, all around the world. And um, taking it to the level of living together is just the next step.